welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. B. Vani, reader in Sanskrit, retired principal, Sarojini Naidu Vanita Mahavidyalaya, Hyderabad. Paper, Indian Poetics, Module, Kshemendra and his Auchitya Vichara Charcha. Life of Kshemendra. Kshemendra is a Kashmirian, flourished in the 11th century. His father's name is Prakashendra and possessed a lot of wealth. He was honored with the name Vyasadasa. All these things we know from the concluding verses of Auchitya Vichara Charcha. Whenever he takes the name of his father Prakashendra, he always connects him with the possessing lot of wealth. And he is such a humble man and studied under many teachers. He himself says, Sarva Manisha Shishyaha and Abhinava Gupta, who is a commentator of Dhanyaloka, is also one among them. Kshemendra, being a versatile genius, wrote works on varied subjects. More than 32 of his works, some about 18 are published, some are yet to, some are known only through his works. His clarity of expression, simple style, comprehensive nature, his satire earned him a place of Acharya among the Indian poetics. His works on poetics and prosody are the manuals for the upcoming poets. His poetic epitomos consists Bruhat Katha Manjari, a translation of Gunadya's Bruhat Katha, Ramayana Manjari, story of Ramayana, Bharata Manjari, story of Mahabharata, Dashavatar Charita, story of ten incarnations of Lord Vishnu, Baudhavadhana Kalpalata, Jataka tales of Bodhisattva, it's a Buddha. And he had written a number of detective poems which have gained a lot of fame for him and the sarcasm which is there in these works are all true even for today also. Charucharya, this is a Shataka, a hundred poems work to lead good life with the pleasant manners. Charu means beautiful. Charucharya, how to live, lead the life in a beautiful way. Kalavilasa describes the various arts including cheating, fake doctors, etc. And arts which are prevailing uh, in his time. Darpa Dalanam, a satirical poem deals with seven kinds of pride. Samaya Matruka, again a satire to trap courtesans with great skill. Sevya Seva Kopadesha, it lays down rules, duties of the master and servant. Deshopadesha is an observation on the customs and notorious characters of the day-to-day -day life. Narma Mala, it ridicules the official missionary. He was working in the, with the king, Ana, king Ananta and he was very much closely associated with the official uh, matters of king. Regarding that, he has written a work which ridicules all the official uh, missionary, Narma Mala. And Chaturvarga Sara Sangraha, which deals with the four ends of life. The four ends are being Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. Not only uh, poems, and short poems. He has written great works on poetics and metrics. Suvrutti Tilaka, which deals with all the meters, chandas, divided into three sections. Kavi Karana Bharana, traitors on making a poet. Auchitya Vichara Charcha, on literary criticism, which declares the theory of propriety. The other works of Kshemendra, Loka Prakasha, Kosha provides information on the geography and the life of Kashmir. Rupakalpa Taru deals with the Rajaniti polity. Vyasa Shataka is an eology on great poet Vyasa. Other than these works, some more other works which are ascribed to his authorship are Amruta Ranga, Kanaka Janaki, Chitra Bharata, Kavikarnika, Lavanyavati, Muktavali, Munimata Mimamsa. Lalita Ratnamala, Neeti Kalpalata, Vasayana Sutra Sara, Vinayavali, etc., etc. Other works are also ascribed to his authorship. Being a versatile writer, author, in most of his works, he has chosen examples from the 
works which are prevailing at that time and the previous uh, poets and he himself has written some of the poems some of the poems for to give an example for the theories which is laying laying definition of auchitya what is auchitya auchitya is a proprietary which is a life breath of rasa and an appropriateness that makes the right sense in the given context it's an abstract idea of being proper It goes by the name of auchitya proprietary auchityam rasasiddhasya sthiram kavyasya jeevitam without auchitya the poetry is lifeless though it possesses embellishments like figures of speech excellences styles etc nothing can be beautiful without the proprietary even anand vardhana the great scholar author of dhanya loka he also says anauchityatrute rasabhanga nanyat rasabhangasya karanam put it in a proper place they beautify the poem otherwise all the beautifiers they will become blemishes so one has to take care of a proprietary when they are writing a poem uchitasya bhavam is the auchityam uchita is the proper thing there are 27 places that are mentioned by kshemendra and also you should pervade all part of the poetry they are as follows pada phrase vakya sentence prabandhartha meaning in whole composition guna excellences qualities alankara poetic figures of speech rasa the sentiment karaka the case ending krit verbs linga gender and marking and vachana and number visheshana qualifications adjectives upasarga prefix nipata particles kala time desha country kula family vrata custom tatva truth sattva inherent strength abhipraya motive the purpose swabhava nature సార సంగ్రహ ఎసెన్షియల్ ప్రాపర్టీస్ ప్రతిభ ఇన్నేట్ ఎబిలిటీ అవస్థ ద కండిషన్ విచార థాట్ నామ నేమింగ్ ఆశీర్ ఆశీర్వాద బ్లెస్సింగ్స్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద ప్లేసెస్ హీ హెస్ చోజన్ టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ బట్ అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ దీస్ ప్లేసెస్ ఎవ్రీవేర్ హీ సేస్ దట్ ఎవ్రీవేర్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ పార్ట్ కావ్యాంగేషు హీ మెన్షన్స్ కావ్యాంగేషు సర్వత్ర ఆల్ ద పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ది కావ్య దే షుడ్ బి proprietary without a proprietary the uh, poem will not be appealing at all it should be agreeable to each one and uh, one and other whoever are reading the poetry or watching the drama especially for the dramatist it is very much necessary to have proprietary because otherwise he will not he cannot receive proper received properly by the audience out of the 27 i would like to try to show few of them with uh, along with their examples the speciality of kshemendra's uh, theory is not only he shows an example for proprietary is there he shows a counter example which is called as pratyudaharana in sanskrit he shows counter example also where impropriety is there where it should not be defined like this a sentence vacha vakya uchityam is a proprietary in a sentence in a, sen- a sentence is interpreted with the proprietary will always be received by the learned and experts in criticism kshemendra gives an example from his own work vinayavalli svabhujam pramashtri yaha keechaka akali kala dandam here he says he boasts about his own strength of his arm and his arm which is the loving uh, uh, loving concert of hiding ba patting his arm which was that arm of bhima which was untimely rod of death of kichaka god of death of kurus such dramatic expressions about the dreadful deeds of bhima very much to, suited to evoke se, the sentimental raudra terror very easily when he says kicha kakala kala dandaha that itself shows the raudra the strength which is there in his arms this is proprietary and he gives an example for the impropriety also by the with the example of a poem from the rajashekara rajashekara in one of the his work he says that it may be the world rest on the arm of druryodhana 
which is the stock of the eminent, uh, eminent lotus of bravery. Nale shauryam, shauryam aho utpalasya vipule. By comparing very strong pillar like arm of Duryodhana as a lotus stock, is not at all appropriate because the warm, arm of a warrior cannot be compared by, with a delicate objects like lotus stock, sporty pillow of a goddess wealth like this. This is pseudo truly in, inappropriate. It is anauchitya because a strong arm of the warrior should be compared with a pillar or a, like a Bhima's hand has been described as the, the rod of death like that, not as a lotus stock. This is called impropriety. Prabhandauchityam, where propriety is there in poetic composition. The meaning of poetic composition becomes more and more beautiful with a particular suitable meaning. Like in Mega Sandesha of Kalidasa, Eksha re requests the cloud to carry the message by saying, Jatam Vamshe Bhuvanavidite Pushkaravartakanam. I know that you are born in a famous family of Pushkaravartaka. By saying this, he messages that he, he is capable person to carry all his message. By praising him like this, you are a minister, you are working with the, in the uh, assembly of Lord Indra and born in such a noble family and you are definitely capable of conveying my message. So, saying this is very much extremely appropriate because the work which has been assigning him, he is capable of doing it. That makes the proprietary of the poem. The counter example for Prabhanda Uchitya, again he takes from Rajashekara only, who described the scene from Sita Swayamvara. Ravana comes to attend the Sita Swayamvara and he says that let the bow, the prize with which Sita can be bought, be presented to me, like that he boasts. Then Janaka, father of Sita, he replies saying, Avirastu samam agarbha sambhavaya sitaya. Let it be presented with Sita. Let the bow be presented to you along with Sita. Here it shows that Janaka is ready to give away his own dear delicate daughter to a demon like Ravana which is not possible at all, which is a very much inappropriate because a father would like to give his daughter to a person worthy of her. But he cannot decide that he can give it to give it in the hands of an undeserving person like Ravana. This clearly shows impropriety. Gunauchityam, propriety in merit. Gunas are qualities, intrinsic qualities of the poem. Prasada, Madhurya, Ojas, this kind of gunas. Each rasa has to be depicted in particular guna. In order to show the guna chityam, proprietary of merit, Kshemendra says that the sublime, sublime merit, vigor, clarity, sweetness, delicacy, etc. arising from the proprietary, possessed of charm and relevant to the context, abounds joy to the men of taste, like the downpour of rain. He quotes a valiant Ashwatthama's befitting and dazzling speech from Bhattanarayana's Veni Samhara. Can be referred from the text. And a counter example also, uh, he takes from Chandraka and Rajashekara and says that impropriety in Guna is like beautiful lady having lovely and tender body but speaking harshly. It doesn't look bright like the fading flame of the lamp placed in front of a poor man. Hence, should be avoided. Karaka Uchityam. Kshemendra deals with the minute things also. The case gender, a Sanskrit language is with the case and case endings. Any given sentence syntactically suitable for the context can give charm to the poetry. For example, proprietary in the use of ablative case in Malavarudra statement, having taken few drops from the from this ocean, Etasmat Jalanidher Ambukanikaha has shown the great glory of ocean. From the ocean, Etasmat Jaladehe, that gives a source of extreme proprietary, extreme charm. In the counter example, he quotes from Bhattendu Rajas, Adaya Vari Paritaha Saritam Sukebhya, almost the same meaning. There he has taken the Having taken the water, here he says, he remarks that the uh, pretext of addressing the ocean that having taken from the mouths of the rivers, 
which is very disgusting nobody can, nobody will simply snatch snatch away anything from the mouths of somebody else he could have simply said having taken from the rivers that would have been enough but when he said mukhebhyaha that is where the impropriety is there that is where inappropriateness is there that is where the beauty has been nullified this is the case of impropriety of apadana karaka ablative case rasauchityam propriety of his sentiment Kshemendra feels that the sentiment fascinating on account of its proprietary and pervading in the hearts of the, all the people, the entire sense makes the mind glow. He quotes an example from the, uh, for propriety of erotic sentiment from Kalidasa. Actually, he deals with all the nine kinds of sentiments. Uh, we have selected only one sentiment, erotic sentiments, from the work of Kalidasa, Kumara Sambhava. It says, Balend Vaktran Avikasa Bhavat Bhabruhu Palashan Yatilohitani. The Palasha flowers, extremely red and curved, like young moon. Young moon. This description definitely evokes erotic sentiments, the half moon, curved moon, red color, and things. The continuation of uh, verse of Kumara Sambhava, where he finds Kshemendra doesn't find any charm. Hence, he quotes that an example for impropriety for erotic sentiment. Karnikaram dunoti nirghandataya smachetaha. Here, just by describing Karnikara flower that had no fragrance, do not add anything to enhance the erotic sentiment. Here, Kalidasa tries to say that creator god lord brahma creator is indiscriminate but that is not at all adding any kind of a, uh, love sai bhava enhancing the sai bhava love here and more so it is actually obstructing because the mind is been taken to some other area feeling sad karnikaram dunoti when he says dunoti it got mind pains a lot than having a sentiment of as having an emotion of love. Propriety in Shantarasa. Kshemendra gives an example for propriety in the statement from his own didactive poem Chaturvarga Sangraha, Bhoge Roga Bhayam, Sukhe Kshaya Bhayam, etc. 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 Sarvam Nama Bhavet, Bhavet Bhayamaho, Vairagyam Eva Abhayam. All the worldly pleasures though they are dear to the people, cause nothing but fear. Bhoge roga bhayam. When they are enjoying, they, there is a fear of roga. If people want to eat more, and evidently they will have some stomach upset. Sukhe kshaya bhayam. Likewise, there, everywhere there is a, every worldly pressure has a connection with the bhaya, fear. Cause nothing but fear. Showing that step by step, the poet leads the reader to the final stage of renunciation, that's a vairagya, which is the static emotion, sai bhava of the sentiment, tranquility, shantarasa. Thus, the rasa is evoked without any impediment because the proprietary of expression. Rasa sankara, combination of various rasas. There are nine rasas and these rasas, how they can be combined together, he explains in a very simple way saying that just as the sweet, bitter and other flavors when blended skillfully taste, taste delicious. In the same way all the sentiments like Srungara and others when they are put together in ingenious way gives immeasurable joy. He says Yatha madhura tikta, madhura tikta dhyaha rasaha kushala yojitaha vichitraha swadatam yanti mithaha. And one should maintain proprietary when combining the statements. Because like how food is being prepared with all the tastes mixed together to make it more delicious. In the same way, all the rasas are also mixed together to make it a very pleasant appealing to the hearts of the reader. They should maintain the proprietary when combining the sentiment. Kshemendra questions. To whom the mixture of sentiments touched by impropriety welcome? If they are mixed wrongly, then it will not appeal to anyone's heart. When they are mixed very much properly, then only it will give joy to the reader. Tesham parasparasleshat kuryat auchitya rakshanam anauchityena samsprishtaha kasya ishtaha rasasankaraha. 
one should always retain the proprietary which is a life of uh, pro uh, poetry even a small impropriety also should be avoided because even a small impediment like when the food is prepared if the salt is little more then the whole taste of the food goes in the same way any, if any impropriety is there a little bit of impropriety is there that also should be avoided because it will definitely allow it will not allow sahrudaya uh, to relinquish the taste because it causes all the impediment to evoke desired rasa the sentiment chemendra developed this theme of auchitya the proprietary as the soul of poetry which is sustained by means of rasa the sentiment pada pada auchitya people quote a verse from dignanga's uh, drama kolayananda wherein uh, lakshman rama asks lakshmana to drop sita in the forest Dra lakshmana takes her to the forest and to leave sita in the midst of the forest where there is no person nearby he his heart pains a lot and he says sitam aranye vijane vimoktum this was found as inappropriate because lakshmana has highest reverence for sita he cannot he never has seen her face also except for the feet how can he say how can he name her like sita this is found as inappropriate by the critics because padavachitya even that small word also has to be taken care when the people are writing the poetry instead of sita he could have used arya word then the appropriateness comes that's how the proprietary is been taken care of because it is a very essential element in the poetry even the smallest error also causes a lot of pain to the reader with all these examples and counter examples he displayed the need of proprietary under 77 headings he checks even the minutest part also and gives instruction instructions to improve one skill this text auchitya vichara charcha akshaymendra is like a practical manual for the honest poet though not received by many of the critics but proprietary is very much necessary in writing a poem thank you